Okay, today I'm going to talk briefly about removing the engine management module, also I guess called the onboard computer, from a 2001 model year uh, Evan Rood Johnson Ficht Ram fuel injection motor. It's a 225 horsepower motor and um, I had to take this thing out and ship it back um, to, uh, to a place in Georgia to have them repair it. And so it was pretty straightforward, except there's one, there's one really tricky part, and I just want to share that with you. That's really the, the reason for this video. I didn't find any other videos about how to take one of these out. There is another video online about how to install one of these. I'll put a link to it down in the comments. So this is the computer module here. Um, and there's essentially a, a three water uh, pipe uh, tubes that go into it to cool it. These are just secured with zip ties. There's one here. There's one here, and there's one right down here. It's pretty straightforward. It was easy to clip off the zip ties with wire cutters. The water pipes slide right off. Um, over on this side, there's two electronic harnesses. These have little pinch tabs. You pinch them, and they'll slide right out. These came out very easily. That was not a problem either. Over on this side, um, DFI Technologies, that's the name of the company that repaired it. Over on this side, there are little star hex screws. You can see right down there, I took my finger. Right there, one. And there's one on this wiring harness too. So I don't know why over on this side they used pinch tabs, which is pretty easy. And over here they use hex screws. This top hex screw is really easy to get out. You can get a screwdriver right in there. This one is a little bit more tricky because of this fuel injector. I had to take the bit, hold it down in place, and then use a pair of um, needle nose wire cutters to move it about an eighth of a turn at a time to loosen it. Once those screws are loose, these back out with the screws, and so these come out very pretty easily too. So the water, the water hoses and these electronic harnesses, they come out pretty easily. At that point, what you're faced with is, you can see right down, right down in there, there's this uh, uh, hex-headed screw, and there's one back down in here. If, I'm, if, these, if you move these out of the way a little bit, push them out of the way, there's one down in there. And then what you'll see when you really dig into it is there's a hex-headed screw right underneath this harness. And there's another hex-headed screw right underneath about this part of the engine management module. That's the tricky thing because you will be able to remove these two. So this one will come right out. Once you get this water tube out of the way you get a, and you get the harness, uh, wiring harness out, you'll be able to get a screwdriver down in there. That comes out no problem. And then here, again, once you get this water tube out of the way, um, you, could, you could pull this, you could remove that screw too if you want, and, that, and then this little, harness, this little um, like secure clip comes out. But you'll be able to easily reach down a screwdriver and get that one out. At that point, you're still gonna have those other two in place. And if you've never done this before, you won't know the trick. But the trick basically is that those screws are not in um, a circle receptacle. They're in a V-notch on each side. And what that means is once you remove the two hex-headed screws that are accessible, this one here and this one down here under this water pump, this whole assembly, you can pivot it. You'll be able to turn it this way. And what'll happen is when you turn it this way, this back V-notch slides out from between um, two little like shock absorbing ru wa rubber washers that are on that screw. And then this notch also similarly, when you give it that twisting action, that slides right out from between the rubber washers that are uh, holding it in place on that screw. So if you don't know that, you'll probably do what I did, which is you'll spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to get this, how to get some, how to get access underneath this, um, wiring harness receptacle and and it, it, there's no way to get in on this side absolutely at all i mean you'll be looking at this um, fuel injector you'll be peering back in there trying to figure out how to get access you can barely see there it is that's the screw uh, you can't get access to that thing there's no way there's really no way to do it um not with any tools that i'm aware of but what you can see on the front of it there is you can see actually you can see the way it's kind of there's two black rubberized washers and then you can see part of the frame of the computer sticking out there, but that's a V-notch. And so, like I said, this whole thing, it just 
it's, it just pivots, pivots slightly and comes right out. Um, that is, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, no, no, that's not it. Once you get that out, there's three other things, but these all come across, come out very easily. There's a, um, there's another wiring harness here. It's one of, it's these red, these, there's two red and a black wire coming out of here and they go into a wiring harness here, but this just comes apart. And then what you'll see as you do it is there's a black wire that goes in there and then the red one snakes down through here and it comes around the other side of the motor and it clips, it screws into a place there, but those are very easy to get access to and you'll be able to take those out no problem. So that's it. You know, once you get the two hex head screws that are accessible out, this thing pivots, slides right out. Then you can take off this last harness and you can remove the black wire and the red wire. And then this engine ma module, uh, management module will be out and you can, I guess, ship it off to be repaired, which is what I did. Um, DFI Industries down in Georgia was the company that did it. Uh, they did it so far, they had, so far it works. So I've only had it back in here for about two weeks, three weeks now. Uh, I've run it around three, four times. It seems to be running really well. Um, I've got a thread going on one of the, I think it's called the Hall Truth. I'll put a link to that down in the comments as well. And um, I'm going to update that thread at the end of this season and then next year with um, just an update report on how the repair went because the, the point of the thread was not so much how to get this thing in and out, it was actually how to fix it once you do get it in and out. So um, putting it back in is very straightforward, you reverse of everything you do. It's important that you connect up that red wire and this black wire first because they actually feed diagonally sort of underneath this. There's a gap down here between this engine management module and the engine block. And so those wires, before you put the module in and pivot it into place, you will need to run those black and red wires back up under here. Otherwise, if you try to thread them around here after the fact, they're not long enough and they won't reach where they need to go. So when you put it back in, run the red and black wires under, so they uh, route underneath this engine management module. Then you can sit the management module in place. You can pivot it back into where those two um, standing um, hex headed uh, bolts are. Then you can put in the two that you've got, plug in your receptacles, put these back on. I used a wire I'm sorry, I used a um, cable tie. I think those are like 10 inches long and they said they could take like 75 pounds of pressure. It seems to be fine. I've run it a bunch of times. They haven't leaked. I pulled them as tight as I could and I pushed down on them with um, pliers. So, so there you go. I hope this is helpful. Like I said, there's some other links in the comments. Good luck.